Hi, I'm Michael Wargo, team pilot for Precision Aerobatics, and today we're going to do a video uh, on a basic premise uh, of 3D aerobatics, which is uh, orientation. Uh, Tom approached me last week and said we've never done it, and it's something that he felt was critical to to that type of flying. Uh, is just getting used to different orientations. So we're going to uh, talk a little bit about how to get used to it, and uh, just basic stick movements uh, and and how to arrive at it to to where it becomes second nature to you, rather than being something you're afraid of. So let's give it a shot. Okay, obviously 3D flying, uh, you know, involves seeing the aircraft in uh, orientations like this, uh, nose in and inverted, and it's a bit, you know, it's a bit different. But to be honest with you, as the nose is in and it's inverted, you just push the stick basically in the direction you want to go. Um, again, you know, everybody's used to the orientation of flying nose in, and you realize the rudder is opposite. However, if, for instance, you are inverted and the nose is towards you, and if you want the nose to go left, you simply, you know, you simply pull the rudder left and the nose will turn that way. Now, instead of me telling you which direction to push the, uh, the rudder or the ailerons or the elevator or anything else like that, I think the best way to do this is literally to experiment for yourself. You know, go up very high, go out away from you, go up high, turn it over, and then push one direction, push another direction. Uh, you know, fly some figure eights, see? You know, try a little flat turn, and push that rudder, and see which way the plane is going. And once it's on the other side, um, as the plane is going up and down, do some stall turns. Watch, watch the rudder. You know, you can also do a stall turn in the opposite direction. Uh, belly in. Watch the rudder. See which way it goes. Go back and forth. Feel it out. Now, I really think the best way to uh, keep and maintain orientation is uh, just what I just said. It's just to, to get the plane inverted. Um, or fly it towards you in configurations that are just not normal and just start pushing the rudder around and just see how it works, see how it flies. Um, and get a little lower. Fly little tight flat, uh, flat turns like this. These are, this is just a rudder turn, you know. A little bank in the ailerons, but basically it's a rudder turn. You know, then you can just turn the other way if you want. Push it harder and harder until you get familiar. Then experiment with yourself, test yourself, come, up, come back over the top and immediately try and go the direction you want and see if it works out. Um, but if I were you, as you are uh, trying to learn these orientations and things like that, um, just keep doing it every flight. Every flight, do a little orientation training. Um, every single flight that you make, you know, uh, maybe you have a plan to um, do a rolling harrier, uh, a pie like this, and stop inverted and immediately turn in the same direction as the, the circle you were making. Uh, practice these things. Uh, the other thing that I believe is really helpful for orientation is to start, you, normally we start a four point roll from upright, okay? Start it from inverted because the first rudder movement is opposite. I think it's a really helpful exercise. Um, also, you can uh, do all of these point rolls and things like that um, opposite. So let's say, for instance, you, you start, you do a point roll this way, two, three, four, then go back. One, two, three, four. And I think that's a really good way to start getting your thumb moving in the direction that's appropriate. Ready? Okay, you know, like a, a rolling harrier in one direction and then going back in the other it is absolutely an orientation issue. But of course, it takes a while to learn to do it. But I think it's helpful to be able to be functional in both directions. 
even if you want to do something like uh, uh, reversing a rolling circle or something like that, all this definitely helps to, uh, you know, get a grip on your uh, orientation. So going one direction and then reversing it. Um, honestly, some of the most helpful things for me in regards to orientation has always been uh, uh, doing an inverted Harrier. I think it's probably the best thing that ever happened to my orientation was to, to uh, do this particular maneuver, come towards you. Now I'm holding a lot of uh, left elevator, or I mean left rudder. You know, and then going this way to try and bring it back around. And adjusting that inverted Harrier is really, really helpful. And you know, maneuvers like this, where you're, you're down low uh, in this direction and you start your rolling Harrier from the opposite direction. That's a really nice maneuver. Um, you know, when you watch me do uh, a, a knife edge and I roll out on the knife edge, I roll out to inverted. And that has to be done in the opposite direction of what you normally would start a point roll with. See, I'm gonna to roll to the left. And that looks a lot nicer. So all that comes from a bit of comfort in orientation. So I would make certain that you do a little bit of practice uh, with orientation. You know, every flight that you're just practicing. Make sure you just really kind of focus on, you know, rudder direction and, you know, of course, the elevator has to be pointed, uh, pushing down if you're inverted, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, the moral of this story is, is practice, but put the plane in orientations you're not used to, and I think it's going to be helpful for everybody.